Hello, hello, hello. How is our afternoon going? I'm back with a, another live Facebook um, and doing a little art journal page. So hopefully uh, I've got a couple of people tuning in, starting to watch. Hey, Casey, how are you going, love? Um, and just waiting for a couple more people to tune in and make sure that my comments are on. Um, awesome. So what I'm going to do today as part of the Great Australian Craft Show and um, some of the specials that I've got happening this weekend, um, I thought I'd showcase some of the, hello, Alison Bevis, um, <laughs> um, thought I would showcase some of the Dina Wakely products um, that I absolutely love and, um, yeah, give you a bit of an idea So on, on how to use like some of the pages in these journals. This is one of uh, Dina Wakeley's journals, and this is her multi-surface journal. This is, um, as you can see, 54-page journal, but it is absolutely gorgeous, and it has got these amazing hessian pages. It's got this cotton rag. It's got um, canvas pages, and it has craft pages as well. So... If you have seen any of Dina Wakeley's tutorials lately, she's been doing lots of them during isolation. Um, she, she's done some amazing pages. Uh, I, I love her creating, I love her work, and I think that if I show you how to create a quick page that is achievable and easy. I know um, looking at Dina's work, she makes it look so easy. And then when we go and try and create, we kind of go, oh my God, how I just can't recreate it. But you gotta give it a go. Um, so I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way of doing an art journal page using this page here with a background as well. So I'm going to be using the our Dina Wakely Art Journal, <laughs> and um, these are currently $40, and 15% off takes them down to about $34. So they're actually really good value for money, um, and a really nice size album. This is an A4 size. So what I'm gonna do is cut something out of here, and then color it, and then create something on here while it's, while it's drying. Um, I had an idea of cutting out a face in this uh, hessian. So rather than, I, I don't know how to draw faces, not my strong point at all. So I printed, I found a, did a Google search for side profile face and came up with a picture. I then printed this out onto an A4 piece of paper to the size that I wanted and then cut around it. So I really just want the shape of the face. So with a black texture, I'm going to draw that shape. Around here, like that. And pop the chin there, and give her a bit of a neck. So now I have a bit of a face sort of profile going on there. What I really love is that I can now just take to it with the scissors. Um, there we go, I'll start here. And I can't do this, hang on a minute. I have to turn it. Um, there we go. Cut around it with the scissors to create the shape of the, the, the face profile. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's an art journal and it doesn't matter to me anyway. So 
so there's the start of the face starting to take shape and I now need to go this way sorry I'm working a bit khaki handed here and it's just not happening there we go Rightio. So now I've got these two little off cuts, which I'm just going to pop aside. Don't need them. And I have the shape of a face with a pointy chin, which we can get rid of that. And I can make, you know, the lips a different size if I want to. I can enhance it, but I'm just going to leave it just like that. So what I want to do is this is a surface that I can now play with and do anything at all with. So I'm going to do a little stenciling over it. And I'm going to then spray it with Lindy's and pop it aside to dry. So yesterday afternoon, um, I received an order of stencils from Flutterby Designs. And um, I love these stencils. They are gorgeous. Only $8 Australian made by the awesome Anita Rodway. Um, so this one is called cool as a cucumber and it's just got some really awesome words on it so that's what i was going for i'm going to um use my palette knife my catalyst tool to add some gesso over the top if i can find my gesso which i didn't get out no that's not it um here we go so i'm going to use the dina wakely white gesso and I'm going to just swipe it over my hand. Bloody hell. Um, sorry, didn't mean to swear. Not swearing. Um, so I'm going to now just lightly stencil the words. And I don't want the words to be perfect. I just want it to... Come through like that and because it's not the full size I now have to whoops there we go hold that top up so it doesn't smush it down um, so all of the um, stencils are 15% off so I don't do maths but eight dollars down 15% off you know you can do that it's automatically calculated at the checkout um when you get there so that's all good all right that's pretty good to me um i just wanted that really nice pattern to come through in the background um so i'm just gonna quickly sorry my dogs are at the door one's on the inside here with me and the other's on the outside and they're having a tantrum because they can't get to each other and i refuse to open the door because they're being little turds at the moment so um, all right so I just want to get that stencil clean all right so what's gonna happen is I need to dry that because I want to make it look like a bit of a resist um, so when I add some sprays to, to it in a moment the color is actually going to resist a little bit and it's gonna look really, really cool. So um, these pages, there's something about art journaling. Everybody freaks out about art journaling thinking that they can't do it or it's not going to be the same as what they saw on Pinterest or what Dina Wakely does or something like that. But the whole idea is for you to create for you and then turn the page if you don't like it turn the page put it down to experience that you've tried something new and that you're wanting to um, learn how to create something recreate something learn how to try new techniques um, sorry I've just got to shut this door to keep the dog out oh live Facebook seriously buddy you're not coming in Sorry, Ollie has learnt how to open my glass sliding door by pushing um, 
pushing his body weight up against it and then just keeps moving it until the door opens, little turd. Anyway, um, it's the big issues today. Um, so, yeah, the art journal page to me is really an expression of creativity uh, and the opportunity to create without judgment and without um, without any boundaries. So stop overthinking it, people. All right. So there is my dried stenciling. I'm going to use the Lindy sprays now to colour this background here. Um, so you can colour the hessian, anything that you like. You can make it whatever colour that suits you. Oh, what have I done with my paper towel? There we go. So I'm going to just mask off this page here a little because I'm using sprays. The sprays are going to probably, I'm going to get over spray onto that page. And you can see that I have masked off the page underneath because I don't want the spray to go all the way through to the other side. So I've got a flat Fabio spray and a Starburst spray and I've got Hibiscus Rose and Sweet Violet Purple Teal. So yesterday afternoon I did a live Facebook on Lindy Sprays 101 and the difference between the two of them. So you can go back and have a look at that. But this is the flat spray with no shimmer. So I'm just going to put that colour on like so. So I'm going to put the hot pink at the top and the purple at the bottom. So the tip when you're spraying is to move it backwards and forwards rather than spraying in one spot. Then that way you're going to get a really nice coverage and it's going to be nice and um, even on your page if that's what you're after. I am going to pop those aside. So now while that is drying, I'm going to turn the page. So I could heat dry that, but I'm not going to because I want to paint this page now. So to protect, to protect the transfer, I'm going to just turn that over, lay that there, and then that's going to sit quite nicely, just drying like that while I do something to this page. Um, what I'd like to do here is show you how to put paint on with a brayer. I love me a brayer. I've got some Dina Wakeley paints here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll them out onto my page and lay them up on my page. Um, I'm going to, I don't actually know how this is going to turn out so bear with me if I completely mess this up but that would be me being human. I know right. Um, okay so just protecting my edges and I'm going to start with Dina Wakeley Sky. I'm going to start with a light colour. And I'm going to go straight on. And what I like about a brayer is that it will dry really quickly because I'm rolling the paint out. And this is prepping a really, really nice surface. Uh, so there's Sky. I want to put on a little bit of Ocean. So the Dina Wakeley paints are also 15% off this weekend. And uh, like I mentioned this morning, they are also, I just did a big top up of them last night. So they are all on the website. And I'm just being really willy nilly here trying to pop this on, but I want to layer my blues. And I don't know if you can hear, Ollie is fully banging at the door to get in. He's had a right tantrum. And I need to get into here, into this bit. And I want to put a bit of that colour down there. But what's happening is because this beautiful cotton rag watercolour style paper is a little bit bumpy, the smoothness of the brayer is 
creating these lovely white elements coming through. Now I am going to need to use a paintbrush or a palette knife to go into here because my brayer won't allow me to go right into that edge, which is fine. So I'm just gonna do a little paint and then just get in there and fix that up. I love the flexibility of the Catalyst tool. It has become my number one right hand tool for art journaling and applying paints and mediums. It is a really universal tool. Hi Fiona, how are you? I've just noticed that the lovely Fiona Poultry is watching. Hello. Um, okay, what was I saying? The tool. Okay, my cashless tool. Um, the best thing about them is if you leave crusty paint on it, it comes dry. And I'm just swiping it on and off. But the, the, the paint will peel right off your catalyst tool beautifully. So I've got a nice coat here of paint and it's just Udina Wakeley heavy body paint. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, Fiona's working. That's nice. How are you working? Hard watching me, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to quickly give this a little bit of a heat set just because I want to put another layer on in a moment and then I want to pop a little stamping on. So, and I've just realised I forgot to pick up my white paint. Bear with me a second, girls. Hang on. Sorry, I'm coming. And I'm back. Um, all right. So what I want to do with this now, you can see what's happening here. I'm getting... I'm going to have that sort of look with it. Um, I've got to do some stenciling on the back here. I'm going to do some stamping on the back here. But at the moment, it's quite dark. So to lighten that up, just a freckle. Pop a little white on and I'm going to roll that out. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. And what's happening is I'm getting a really nice translucent white because I'm really, really rolling it out. Oh, I like that. I'm just going to put the lid back on that white before I lose it. Um, and now I've got a nice surface here that I can do some stamping on because I've got a big area there. And I would like to also use a little bit of night, which is that really gorgeous, dark, dark blue of Dina's, just to deepen my edges. Oh, now the delivery man's shown up. Are you joking me? Oh, okay. Kind of sums up my day, really. Um, See if he can read the note that I've left on my front door saying, I'm filming, please leave me parcels. Okay, so there's my background. And because I'm using a thin coat of paint, it's not taking too long to dry. It's just kind of touch. Oh, you're joking. Hang on. The joys of live Facebook, hey? What a professional I am. I have to kick the dog out. Have to... Um... <laughs> I bet that doorbell rings. You're joking. Um, okay. So the heavy body paint rolls out beautifully. Covers really, really nicely. And I'm going to bring it right up to the camera in a minute so you can see a little bit of the texture. Because it... I don't think the camera is really showing it as well as it could. All right, so you can see that beautiful texture in the background. And this lumpy, bumpy paper has just covered, yeah, absolutely beautiful. All righty, so there is a foundation. 
There is that page. That page is still drying. I'm not worried about that at the moment. I'm gonna pop my paints off to the side and I've got a couple of stamps here. The stamps that I've got are paper rose stamps that I've designed. So the my trusty numbers that I've used a few times and also my scribbly words that I've also done. Um, so what I want to do with these is just a little bit of side stamping around the edges. So black archival ink because it is going to be permanent like that. And just a little bit of edging like so. And I'm not using a block because it doesn't need to be perfect. It's just creating, in fact, I'm just gonna zoom up a bit. Like that, okay. So you can kind of see what's going on here. It's like an off stamp. It's not the full stamp, but it is that, that pattern that we're after. And then these stamps here, this is my, my scribbly words. My, it doesn't say anything. It is just a scribble. Um, and I absolutely, I do it on everything. I scribble on absolutely everything. And I'm not going to worry too much here about using a block or anything because it's just a pattern. But what's happening is it's just creating a little bit of interest in the background of my page because I'm just building a background. The, the main hero is going to be this guy here, so or this that lady there, I should say. Not so much the stamping, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So if you do a search on my shop for Scribble, that'll come up my stamp and they're the alpha stamps and they're under the paper rose heading in the stamp section. So, um, okay, so there is a little bit of the stamping around the edges. And I'm just gonna come back and have a look at this front page here. So the color is seeping in quite nicely into that hessian and I'm gonna dry that off a little bit more with the heat gun just to show you how it's going to look. Um, beautiful. So the Hessian is, is great to work with. There is no reason why you can't cut it up. You don't have to use it as a whole page. I have, I love doing this. I could have painted this with a paintbrush as well. That would have looked fine. Um, and used acrylic paint over the top of it. But I've got the sprays out, so I may as well use them. The... It is quite porous, so it does soak up a lot of liquid, but I love that the gesso has given it that lovely resist. So that's dried off nicely. This is dried off nicely. And I think I wanna add a little bit more to this background here. So I'm just gonna pull out my little stash of goodies here to see what I can find. Um, here we go. I've got some, I've got some of these lovely little scrap effects goodies here that uh, are, they're the black die cuts. Here we go, that's the one I think I wanted. And they are really, really lovely to use on art journal pages. So, what I've got here is the, oh, I might just zoom back out a bit. Sorry, guys. Um, I've got the, like, the winter tree here. Um, then there's, like, a, a lovely little flower here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, mandalas, that seems to be the, the thing of the day. And then these, like, doodly, doodle words here. So I can use these on my page in lots and lots of different ways. Um, so I'm thinking that I might use the tree 
and I could quite easily pop that over the top or even pop the mandala over the top. So now I've got gesso all over my hands. Um, so I think I might use the tree and glue that little baby on. So these are super inexpensive and I've got them all online under the um, scrap effects heading. Um, I can't get into the bag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. So what I want to do, I'm going to pop it right here underneath my, over the top of my stamping and it needs to sit right about here. But the thing I've got to watch is the tree is going to be floating. So I'm going to need to continue with my embellishment here so that it is grounded um, and not just coming out of her out of her mouth. So glue. I'm going to pop a little, just to pop it into position, my trusty puzzle glue. Excellent. Let's get all this other stuff out of the way. You should see the state of my desk. It's a freaking mess today. It's disgusting. Um, all right, so what do I need to put down here? I need to do some sort of doodling. I need to do some sort of black pen scribbling. I need some words to go in this section here. Um, I'm actually going to pop a little bit of a paint and my paints are on the verge of being empty. And I'm going to ground my tree a little just with a little swipe of paint, like so. So how's everybody's day going anyway? I have been absolutely crazy busy around here. I haven't even started packing any orders yet because I've had some lovely, lovely ladies pop in and say hi. The dogs have been driving me nuts. I've been trying to get a little washing done because, you know, working from home and the sun's out for a whole eight minutes. Um, trying to, trying to adult a little bit today as well, um, when all I really want to do is just make pretty things, so, okay, so this is looking okay. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm creating something that that tree's sitting on and just using the best tool that I have, which is my fingers, to... To blend that into my page I need to to move it into the page a little bit so that's using night and night is definitely one of my most versatile Dina Wakely colors um, oops so I, I do love using night it's that that great equalizer um, that's still a little bit damp but we're on the right track here. I think it needs a bit of a, a decorative strip down this edge. So I'm going to grab some washi tape in a moment and I'm just going to put some tape down here to give it a little bit of definition. And I'm going to go and find myself a title to pop down through here. Or maybe once the paint dries, I might get my white Pintor paint pen and do a little bit of scribbling and doodling. But... Simple art journal page, uh, 30 minutes and using keep playing. Oh, I'm not going to keep playing, Annette. You do not need to see me fluff around with paint all afternoon. Um, but yes, I do have a couple of ideas that I need to go hunting for products in my studio to, to do. So I'm going to do that off camera. Um, but these lovely little art journals are really, really easy to use. Um, the paper is absolutely gorgeous and you're only limited by your imagination, seriously. Um, as much as I would love to keep playing, I have also got an online class starting next Saturday where we are doing a multi-layer art journal page. So if you would like to join in on that, you are more than welcome. It's a $26 class and the... Class starts next Saturday, but you will have access to it 
for as long as you need. It stays in a private group on Facebook and there are, it's, it's super fun, really easy. You get to listen to me waffle on and create for about five or six hours. <laughs> um, but it is, it's going to be great fun. So that you'll find under classes in the uh, on the online shop, nataliemay.com.au. So um, just recapping what we've used, we've used the Dina Wakeley Media Journal. This is the 8x10 journal with the multi-pages in it with the different pages. So we've done a Hessian page. We've used gesso in the background here with a stencil. So the stencil that I used is one of the new Flutterby stencils that came in yesterday. Um, the colour here with the Lindy's Gang sprays so because they are a dye they have dyed this hessian beautifully really really nicely um, on the back here i used a brayer so i've got these in the shop for eight or nine dollars best tool ever most underrated tool ever i've got to say but i've put my paint on using a brayer a little bit of black stamping in the background and then the scrap effects cut out tree across here and in a moment, once I get off camera, I'm going to add a couple of little bits and pieces. So pop online, have a look, a um, couple of days sale and yeah, fantastic. I look forward to seeing you all 